Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Son Team Sonic. No, no, no. Welcome back to Sonic Heroes Episode Five, Team Rose. Seventy-four percent of the game. We're on like three quarters way there. We're almost done, guys. Oh my god! Almost done. We're almost done. We're almost. We're gonna get spooky today. Hang Castle with the Team Rose, with the scaredy cats. Haha, <laughs> big. She, he's a cat. It's a scaredy cat. It's a pun. You better be laughing. You better be laughing. That was a pretty good one. We can do this with the power of teamwork. Let's get a big. See, yeah, we're we're getting closer to the end. Uh, I think after this, after the hand castle, after this uh, spooky area. We gotta go to the Egg Fleet, Egg Armada, wherever that is, and then Final Forces, and yeah, that's it. We're almost through it. Have we got another case of rules? Nope. Nope, we have not. So with this stage, there's a lot of gimmicks and puzzles, you know, it's a spooky stage, so there's gonna be a lot of tricks you gotta, you gotta deal with. You know, we couldn't go through that door, we have to go take a sh shortcut and go here first before we can do it. And the whole gimmick with this stage is that you touch those balls and the whole uh, stage gets inverted upside down. And look, there's our first look at the Egg Wizard. Pretty nifty uh, enemy. Shoots the magic lasers at you, I think. No, he doesn't. I'm making that shit up because I don't know what I'm talking about, buddies. So how are we all doing today? Uh, it is Wednesday and there's nothing really happening today. It's just a, just your average typical kind of day. We just place pounded right into a wall. Um, so why Sonic Heroes? Why did I have my first playthrough be Sonic Heroes? Well, I didn't want to do anything too serious, and I really love Sonic. Like, I've been playing Sonic ever since I was a wee boy. You know, it was one of the first games I played as a kid. It was this and Super Mario Land. Well, not this game. It was a Super... No, Super. It was Sonic Adventure 1 for the actual Dreamcast. Yeah. I got to play this game on its original... I got to play Sonic Adventure on its original system. That was pretty cool. Yeah, after that, I've just really loved Sonic games. And so that's why I chose to start it with this. Because it's Sonic games are pretty fun. They're exciting. There's a thrill, excitement. Some great stories sometimes when it wants to. And yeah. And then I chose this game specifically because it was pretty... It's easy to get into. You know, there's no open world that you got to traverse through in order to get to the stages. Um, <clears throat> there's no multiple uh, gameplay styles like in Sonic Adventure 2. So this one, you, you just get in, you play, you beat the level, and you can move on to the next. It's like it's just something easier to stream, not stream, but record, I guess. And there's no big story, so it's, I can just talk through anything. Hey, we got an A rank. Let's do it. Yeah, I can basically go in brain dead mode and not to focus too hard. <coughs> Yeah, that's why I chose this. Um, I think for the next one, I'm gonna do like a story-oriented game, like maybe Dishonored. I'm, I'm thinking of doing Dishonored. You know, something a little bit more uh, involved. Not involved, but <laughs> I mean, not that this is involved. This could be kind of involved, especially if you're playing as Team Dark or Chaotix. Okay, we're gonna try and keep hold on to that key because once you get hit, you lose that key, and no more special stage. You better be lucky you find a new one. Oh yeah, this movie is bumping, man. This movie is fucking. It's a fucking bop, guys. All right, so what do I do here? How do I get? Oh yeah, I hit the thing. When did I hit the thing before? I, I, I just went in autopilot. I wanted to explore. <laughs> 
Yeah, after this, I don't think we get to see another spooky level concept. Or, like... Because, like, uh, the whole spooky concept started in... Was it Sonic Adventure? I think it was Sonic Adventure 2, with the Knuckles stages. Pumpkin Hill, or Pumpkin Mountain. Is Pumpkin Hill? It's gotta be Pumpkin Hill. But yeah, we get to see the spooky levels, and I think these are some pretty nice... These are pretty nice themes that go well with the Sonic universe. Something unpredictable? Yeah, we just see three paintings. I think I could just skip them, but I'll just kill them. <coughs> yeah, I love the whole vibe of this game. Like, again, we talked about how it was, uh... It, how the classic games sort of found their way into this one. One of the other things I made it into was, like, the kooky, kooky level themes. You know, this isn't as realistic as the as Sonic Adventure 1 or 2 where you know you go through a city level you go through a beach and like a normal beach you go through the city level we don't get that here no we go through some crazy crazy levels some crazy areas you know we went through a ruin okay the beach ruins that was pretty that's pretty standard uh, the futuristic city it's not as realistic but that's more like it's more outworldy a bit. And then after that, we went to what happened? What was Act Three? Was it Rail Canyon? Whatever. Yeah, we built some Grand Canyon esque area. <laughs> and after that, we go through a frog forest. And now we are chilling in a spooky castle. Halloween. So this one you gotta you gotta think a bit, or not. <laughs> if you just guess like me and get it right, you don't have to think at all. And we, well, that was the Sonic <laughs> the Sonic version of this level is really long. It's way longer than that. That took me like ten minutes almost, but this one only took me three. And we're going through a special stage again. Are we gonna get that KSM Emerald? Like awesome. I hope so. I really hope so. I really want to just get the Chaos Emeralds over with in the Team Rose playthrough. I don't want to have to worry about them in the others. Next six. So we have like, what, four out of seven? Let's get it. Sorry, I'm going in the uber concentration mode right now. So another thing I forgot to mention. Holy shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. Fuck, we're not getting it, boys. We're definitely not getting it. Oh my god, big, what the fuck are you doing? Turn the right way, bastard. So one thing I didn't mention is that the more orbs you collect, the higher your speed level goes. So right now we're at level two, so we're going a bit faster. And we just need to maintain a f Oh my god, I cannot. I cannot. I cannot control Amy. Oh, okay. Yesterday we were doing so well, but today we're doing a bit shit. Oh, please, God. Please. I can't. I can't even switch characters properly. Something's wrong with me today, kids. Oh my god, it's so fun. No, no, we can do it. We can do it. We can do it. We're catching up. Yep, maintain that level three speed. All right, all right. They gave us a they gave us a freebie. They gave us a pity. They gave us a pity section there. Okay, okay, we're doing it. We're doing it. Keep that level three up. Keep it up, baby. Catching. Oh my god, are we gonna do it? I hate it when it does that. Oh no, we fucking lost. We're losing this one, kids. Come on, come on, come on. This up. Oh my god! I'm spamming the B button so hard right now. Yep, yep, yep. Nah, we lost. We lost. Fuck. Fuck. God damn it. I had it in the end, but not the beginning. That's what fucked me over. <sighs> sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I'll be a better gamer next time. <laughs> 
Oh boy, we got one of these levels again. It's one of these bosses. Give back Froggy! That was a good impression. That was pretty good. I'm proud of myself for that. Alright. So again, we we're just going through it. Uh, one thing that this game puts more emphasis on is the combat. Like, never have we seen a Sonic game as far as I know, before this one, we haven't seen a Sonic game where the enemies have actual life bars like that. And I don't know, it, I don't mind it actually. It's not too, up in, it's not too like, it doesn't break the flow. Especially when Big can one-shot like characters with two hits, like obviously because he specializes in combat. Oh no. Yeah. And these actually these enemies actually do stuff. They don't just stand around. Except those ones. They're, that's what they do. They drop bombs. But I mean later Sonic games, the enemies I feel are pretty minimum. Like they do the bare minimum. They just like Goombas. Like all the enemies in the future Sonic games are basically Goombas. You can kill them in one hit. They just move from side to side and that's it. There's no depth. These ones actually charge at you. They have like an it's like they actually have an AI system. Which I like that. Sonic games should focus a bit more on combat in the later ones. I mean, I get that they're focusing more on speed, so I guess they gotta tone down the combat a bit. But it doesn't have to be like that. Did I win yet? There we go. I love how Eggman calls them boys. Don't get too excited, boys. Those were the easy ones. Alright, and that's it. We beat the we beat the, the Hang Castle, the spooky area theme. I uh, hope y'all didn't get too scared playing that, and we got our first triple A. We did it. We got a all A ranks. But we didn't get the fucking chaos I'm wrong. That sh bullshit is hard. So yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Please leave a comment, rate, and subscribe. Bye guys.